Exodus 16, 21 through 26. They gathered it every morning, each person according to need. Then the sun heated up and it melted. On the sixth day, they gathered twice as much bread, about four quarts per person. Then the leaders of the company came to Moses and reported. Moses said, This is what God was talking about. Tomorrow is a day of rest, a holy Sabbath to God. Whatever you plan to bake, bake today. And whatever you plan to boil, boil today. Then set aside the leftovers until morning. They set aside what was left until morning, as Moses had commanded. It didn't smell bad, and there were no worms in it. Moses said, Now eat it. This is the day, a Sabbath for God. You won't find any of it on the ground today. Gather it every day for six days, but the seventh day is Sabbath. There won't be any of it on the ground. Exodus 19, 1-6 through six. Three months after leaving Egypt, the Israelites entered the wilderness of Sinai. They followed the route from Rephidim, arrived at the wilderness of Sinai, and set up camp. Israel camped there facing the mountain. As Moses went up to meet God, God called down to him from the mountain, Speak to the house of Jacob. Tell the people of Israel, You have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagles' wings, and brought you to me. If you will listen obediently to what I say, and keep my covenant, out of all peoples you'll be my special treasure. The whole earth is mine to choose from, but you're special. A kingdom of priests, a holy nation. This is what I want you to tell the people of Israel. Exodus 20, 1-11 through 11. God spoke all these words. I am God your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of a life of slavery. No other gods, only me. No carved gods of any size, shape, or form of anything whatever, whether of things that fly or walk or swim. Don't bow down to them, and don't serve them, because I am God your God, and I'm a most jealous God, punishing the children for any sins their parents pass on to them to the third, and yes, even to the fourth generation of those who hate me. But I'm unswervingly loyal to the thousands who love me and keep my commandments. No using the name of God, your God, in curses or silly banter. God won't put up with the irreverent use of his name. Observe the Sabbath, to keep it holy. Work six days and do everything you need to do. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to God, your God. Don't do any work, not you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your servant, nor your maid, nor your animals, not even the foreign guest visiting in your town. For in six days God made heaven, earth, and sea, and everything in them. He rested on the seventh day. Therefore, God blessed the Sabbath day. He set it apart as a holy day. Exodus 